Well, the 835 is a modern day ancestry tale that provides the readers with first my methodology for conducting all of my ancestry research and second provides my readers with all of the wonderful things that I discovered during my five year voyage to find the truth and to discover my history from pictures and photographs to illustrations, census records and old stories. It's all included in the 835. Well, the 835 was written as a promise to my father. A little over five years ago, my father approached me and encouraged me to go and do what not everybody could, and that is to discover all that can be discovered about my family ancestry and heritage. I decided to accept this challenge and five years later, we have a wonderful manuscript that I'm ready to share with the world. Well, the 835 is actually intended for a wide audience. Of course, my dear family members would find some additional benefit because of all of the pictures and illustrations and census records included. But the first section of the book provides everyday people and new ancestry researchers with a framework and a methodology for answering some of those old questions that have lingered about family history and heritage. The book provides a solid methodology that if followed will yield some fabulous results and allow you, the reader, to write your own family history. Well, the 835 is, is not a traditional novel and was not written to be so. Uh, as an engineer by trade and a, and a business owner and entrepreneur, I've always believed in getting right to the point. You will notice that the 835 was written to be very crisp and to the point in terms of what needed to be done, when, in order to be successful. So there were not additional content chapters and there was not additional verbiage added. What I attempted to do is in a clear, concise fashion to get to the point and add value and teach people what they needed to, to learn to be successful in that endeavor. And I hope the readers will enjoy it. Uh, as a result of that approach, instead of a 500 page manuscript, the 835 is a refreshing under 200 page manuscript. But don't be fooled. There's a lot of insight, a lot of information, a lot of know-how contained in that approximate 200 pages. And I hope you discover uh, some benefit from that. Well, first and foremost, I'm proud that I was able to capture, chronicle, and preserve my family history. It's almost a tragedy when the, the rich history of our ancestors gets lost because nobody records it, nobody writes it down, or in some situations, people think that it's insignificant. Family history, no matter whose history it is, is always important and always needs to be chronicled. So by writing the 835, I know from my extended family, I've able, been able to preserve and capture and protect history. Some of the other things I'm proud of include the fact that while writing the book, I was able to reunite with a lot of family all over the United States and identify family on other continents. I identify family on the continent of Africa and I identify family in Europe. So those two things are, are first and foremost the most important things. Well, the answer to that question is rather complex. I learned a few years ago that ancestry research is really a living science. You never totally get done with doing the ancestry research. So, I felt that I had reached a plateau with all of the census records and the pictures and the stories and all of the other information that had been uncovered, that it was time to uncover all of that wealth of information to the world and to my family. However, I recognized that this is just the first step 
and that there are many years of research and many years of story writing and document preparation that are still left undone. First step that I plan to undertake is to reconnect with those extended family members from Nigeria, Mali, and Germany. We've uncovered a rich family history and the next logical step is actually to go and meet and greet and exchange information with those extended family members that we never knew existed before. The next step is to work with my extended family from young to old to fill in the gaps that the 835 did not fill in, to add the names of the in-laws uh, that have been omitted from the 835, and also to fill in the names of the missing genetic ancestors out there in the world. We know you're out there. You may have been omitted from the 835, but we know you're there. And one day in the not too distant future, you will be added to the legacy of the 835.